is not one of my normal builds. Uh, as you guys know, I do a lot of custom work, such as, um, for instance, this plow truck here. But when I was 17 years old, I didn't have money to go out and buy a uh, f uh, first gear, you know, Kenworth or Mac or Peterbilt or whatever uh, was out back in uh, 2014. But I've always had interest in plow trucks, and I know lately I've been making videos of plow trucks. Um, that's just because we've been getting a lot of snow in the area that I'm at, and um, you know, plow trucks just kind of interest me and whatnot. So I figure this video, you guys are here for this video uh, because of the title, and we'll get to that, and that'll be at the end. So I'm going to make you guys sit through all the other stuff first. Um, anyway, with that being said, you guys know this truck I just built, did some pretty d custom detail with it. But back in 2014, I a, didn't have the skill set that I probably have today. As far as custom stuff going to be, I didn't really have the money because I was 17, high, still in high school, living with my parents. Anyway, I was at my parents the other day and I was, um, we were over there yesterday and I was rummaging through some stuff to, um, just looking at some stuff and I ended up finding a Lego box and I went through the Lego box and I came up and found a plow they had built for this 164th scale Ertl for dump truck that I had gotten and the thing was is again like I said I couldn't afford a nice first gear dump truck so this was what I had to settle with and this plow um, I know obviously it's multicolored and it's um, kind of interesting looking but it has more function than a realistic one that I made on the on the Kenworth so it does raise raise up and lower and it does turn left and right and you can detach it like so and leave the light pot on or you can take that off and all I did was super glued um, a 1x2 uh, skinny brick to the front there for that and then that just connects like that and this connects like this. Now for anybody that's interested in building one, um, if you're younger and you're looking to make a plow truck and you just don't have the money. But you have Legos laying around. This would be a cool option here. Um, like I said, it looks actually not bad considering. And it's got more function, like I said, than the realistic looking one. So, alright, um, on to a couple things that I found at uh, the grocery store, believe it or not. So, first thing on the list is the two Matchbox 2018 Bugatti Devo. Um... This is one of those cars I've been waiting to get released for a while, and um, it finally got released. And uh, I've been really the last couple of years. Matchbox has really been impressing, uh, impressive to me with the detail. It's got this uh, flat gray with black accents and this baby blue interior with baby blue accents as well. You guys can see even like that taillight color there. Now this is the um, successor to the Chiron, which is the successor to the, um, the well, kind of the original um, Bugatti, which is the Veyron, which I actually had to stop and think about it for a minute. And I actually had to go upstairs and Google it because I couldn't remember what it was. The Veyron, the Chiron, and now the Devo. Okay, next, this is here, is the 2016 Police Interceptor Utility. We saw this, and I have a couple of the ones in over. the uh, Matchbox, I think it's a Matchbox Fire Chief's car, this one here. Um, but I got this one today to add to my, um, collection of police cars from around the country, which in that collection, to date, I have a San Diego, it's actually a lifted San Diego Explorer. I have, and this is not United States, but it's 
Canada Royal Mounted Police. I got three Texas Highway Patrols, a 89 Mustang Notch Body, a Ford Crown Victoria, and a Dodge Charger. I have a green light dually for the Highway Patrol, dually Border Patrol, and a uh, green light uh, Veteran Affairs uh, Durango. So we can add this one to El Segundo, California, back into uh, that fleet. And I really like this car. I really do. It's it's black. It's just got the white letter or the white lettering with the blue line down the side. American flag. The only thing I don't really honestly like about this car is the hitch. I think the hitch looks a little weird. Um, unless you're towing like a trailer of some sort, but I don't know. It's just kind of weird. I think if I get another one, I'll take the hitch off of it. Um, headlights, they also kind of like messed up with the headlight placement. I think that that should be wrapped around more of the front, but that's okay. Um, push bar looks good. And the taillight should also have been wrapped around a little bit more too, but that's okay. Um, that looks good. I do like the subtle things like the American flag there. Um, number Unit number 52. And uh, I think Matchbox overall did a good job with this unit. Um, I definitely would like to um, add another one to the collection. I also have a small announcement before we get on to the big part. And this is, so you guys know about these, I have two of these, these uh, official, basically what this is, is a demo unit for the uh, Chevrolet Silverado PPV. Well, they're releasing a 2021 Tahoe in this same livery, so we're going to get a bunch because I want to make it for uh, the Greenlight Police Department. So, um, we will continue with those. Alright, so now... Stay tuned, and we will get to the best part, the part you guys have all been. So when I say RC snowplow, no, I am not kidding. So this is my Chevrolet K5 Blazer. This is a Traxxas TRX4 Blazer. Traxxas quad track system on it and an RC four-wheel drive uh, V-plow, but I don't have a way to run servos. So I had two servos, I took them off, and I ended up screwing... Uh, basically where the servos would connect to move this whole thing in and out um, to that point. And it gives a little bit of a scoop, but it looks pretty good. So, you guys can see here. It's forward, and re forward and reverse. And then I have the winch controller here, so I can actually run this while raising and lowering my plow. So, there's raising it. And that's as high as it'll go. So it actually goes super, super high um, for some wicked high ground clearance. It gets above the bottom mounting points of the of the bracket there. So I could actually off-road with this. And just like that. And you always want to have a little bit of a tension on it. So it doesn't dig into anything. But... That's up, and that's down. All right, so uh, let's pull this thing apart, and we'll kind of go over uh, what I have, what I have done to it, and we'll talk about how I wired that plow in. Now, if you guys have been following me on uh, YouTube for a while, you know every once in a while I have posted RC pictures and videos. I currently have three RC trucks in my collection. I have a, um, this is a Traxxas slash two-wheel drive VXL, so it's got the brushless motor in it. Um, I'm not going to name any of the mods I've done to it. Just basically new bumpers, mud flaps, wheels, tires, body, lights, so on and so forth. TRX4 Sport, so this is non-locking and unlocking diffs. The diffs are always locked, and this is the non-multi-speed function. This truck stock as it sits, the only thing I did was I bought this expiration rack aftermarket, but you can buy a kit with that on as well. So that's not really aftermarket. Um, this is mostly Michaela's in the summertime when we go crawling. I drive the Blazer, she drives this. 
In the winter time, if we go crawling, I'll probably drive that. The Blazer will stay home because it's got the plow and the tracks on it. Now, the Blazer. So, uh, in the summertime, <clears throat> it has um, these wheels on it. So, uh, there's some Super Swampers. They're RC four-wheel drive. Uh, IROC Super Swampers on some uh, bead locks with trailer wheels on it. These are the wheels that came on it when I bought or when I got the truck used from a buddy. Also has a steel rear bumper and if I go in my drawer here it usually has this steel front bumper on it with the stinger. You can see it's all bashed up from crawling and whatnot. <clears throat> so what have I done to the truck? Well, first was the steel front and rear bumpers. Then, um, actually the biggest thing, the first thing was the ECM, so the electronics control module that the battery plugs into, had a different connector on it for a different battery. So I ended up just buying, uh, purchasing this one used off of somebody online, so it'll take my Traxxas batteries. I got two more up there, and all my batteries will run through all these different trucks. So, um, this truck's got locking and unlocking diffs and a two-speed transmission. So you're high and low range here. And that toggle up top there is for locking and unlocking diffs. You can lock both diffs, lock the front diff only, or unlock the diffs. With the track set, you have to run it in low, low range. So first gear, and you have to have the diffs locked. So that doesn't get touched. In the summertime, um, the other bumper will go on and the wheels will go back on. Winter time tracks and a plow. So what's next? Basically, all after so after I did the uh, the you know the battery and the bumpers, I did the light kit, which causes the tail lights and the headlights to be on. So if I turn this truck on, you can see the headlights, the blinkers, the tail lights. They're all on and they glow. And there's a um, a little thing, a little jumper right there I can pull out and it'll cause the headlights to be dimmer and be like a low beam. But with the fact that I'm plowing and everything, I want to keep those headlights as bright as possible since it's not an actual truck. I'm not going to be driving down the road or nothing. So I got that and then I got the tracks back in October. Um, that was part one of the two-part setup that I was doing. Um, which part two was uh, getting this thing ready to plow. So went down a local hobby shop today. Diecast Masters makes a awesome um, 124th scale RC bulldozer, and I was thinking about getting that because I wanted something to plow snow with, but then I decided to run with this platform and put a plow on this because this truck's going to be a lot heavier and this truck's going to push a lot more snow, especially four-wheel drive with the tracks and all that good stuff. So I went in there. I was going to get a hot racing plow, but they didn't have any stock. And the guy actually bought this RC four wheel drive uh, V plow. Um, but he decided that he did not want to run it anymore. He sold the truck that it was on. So he ended up um, selling it to me for a pretty decent price. And he threw in a discounted winch control because the winch was on here. Uh, it's, it's actually a one-tenth scale Warren winch, but I had the winch controller and the actual controller there. Now, the winch, you can mount the winch two ways on these trucks. Here is the actual winch plate, which I've decided to mount the brains of the winch controller. And then you can actually um, mount the winch, or you can mount the winch on the plow bracket, which is what I did. Now, the, this just slides right in the two pins here and here. Uh, go through right where how you'd hook up a regular front bumper to these trucks so um this thing's pretty pretty you know pretty decent it's a it's a wing plow i have it in straight mode um i figure it's gonna be the easiest way to push i can always adjust these and move them back here because this is where the servo sit but i just bolted it right to the servo holes i can always bring it back in a v formation but i think a uh, front plow formation like this is going to be easier um, for cleanup. Obviously, I'm not going to do initial plowing with it, but after a snow blow, I'm going to need to scrape. So this will be what I'll use to scrape with. So how did I wire it? Real simple. 
This comes with a pigtail you can wire to a separate battery. I chose not to do that. So basically all I did was the wire goes to the winch controller and then I have this wire here that I ran, this one here. I ran down and around, actually coupled it with a second one and brought it to here. Now this is a switch that I run to here, which I can run auxiliary lights off of if I want. Um, but it has a uh, another plug in here, which is an on and off switch, which actually supplies power to the winch controller, which then raises and lowers the winch using uh, the remote on there. So with that being said, I can raise this plow all the way up in the air, and then I can sh shut this off to prevent from hitting it and dropping the plow if I decide to go off-roading or crawling um, with this while the plow is still on it. I can make sure that I don't drop that plow back down. Or I can have it on and then run it as normal. So, and then of course, you know, you guys are going to, all you Chevy guys out there, if you guys are into the old school trucks, let just get the body on here. This is what it looks like with the plow on there. Now it came with these, came with one of these wing tips that go in here, but I don't have a second one, so I took them off because I thought it looked kind of stupid. But now you can run this with a steering servo as well to raise and lower this, but I chose to use the winch just because um, the winch, you know, it's a little bit better and I can always lift it up like this. I don't have to worry about messing with a servo or anything like that, so. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, we'll get snow this weekend. So if you guys want to see me plowing with this thing, uh, doing some scraping or whatnot on the driveway, maybe pushing back some snow banks, um, you know, and just general using it and whatnot, uh, you know, let me know. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, as well as follow me on Instagram at Greenlight Fire Station 7. And I will see you guys next time. Um, if you guys like these types of videos, let me know. I'll make more of them. Uh, if not, you don't like these, you want me to stick straight to Greenlight Fire Department, let me know, and I can stop with these videos as well. It's just not much is going on right now at Greenlight Fire Department, so I've been kind of in the building plow trucks with it being my first winter in Connecticut in six years, so it was in Florida for the last five. So, All right, guys, appreciate it. Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time.